Hello everyone, Jared here, and today I'm doing a little bit of filming at home. I'm by myself at the moment, my wife is at work, but she'll be home later. And so far today I've spent most of the morning cleaning and straightening up, and it's just a little bit before noon, and I need to start making a little bit of breakfast. So usually I only film videos outside the house, traveling or checking out small towns or whatever. But recently I've decided to try and challenge myself to do something for the next couple of months that I don't like doing, which leads me to doing home vlogs. Never really liked doing it. And I figured for that challenge that this would be the easiest thing for me to do to fit in with my schedule. And who knows, maybe I can learn to love doing it. So I'm actually pretty excited. I think the only reason I don't like filming at home is I just feel odd doing it. So I'm getting ready to, we're making some hash browns currently. It's kind of funny. This is the first time I've had these since uh, the pandemic hit. We just all of a sudden couldn't find these hash brown patties in any of the grocery stores, any of the chains by us. And Lindsay yesterday finally found some at a Walmart of all places. So this is exciting news. This breakfast has actually sort of turned into a lunch because it's now afternoon, but I got a couple little hash browns, some eggs, sauerkraut, prunes, and a mandarin orange. I'm just looking outside. It has been snowing all morning. It looks pretty, but I'm not a huge fan of snow. These little home vlogs I'm doing are not going to replace any of my traveling videos or any of the normal stuff that we do on the channel. It's just going to be a supplement to that. And I'm going to try to keep them right around five minutes, plus or minus a minute to start. And we'll just kind of see where it goes from there. I have a lot of interests and hobbies, and one of my big interests are Legos. It's a love that I share with my wife. In fact, when I first met her, that's what she was doing. She was buying tons of Lego castle sets. I was like, oh, wow, I love Legos too. But anyway, I've got this Masters of the Universe. Now, this is Mega Constructs or Mega Blocks, not Lego. And I started building it, and I've been working on it for several weeks. It takes me forever because these sets are so big. I had it sitting on this coffee bar that I built for my wife. And I accidentally knocked it onto the ground yesterday and destroyed it. I was only halfway through the set to begin with, but... Today, my job is going to be to see if I can put this thing back together as is without completely turning it apart and reassembling it, and then just finishing this, getting it out of my way. Unfortunately, I'm going to take a little bit of a time out from working on Castle Grayskull to make a dishwasher repair. As you can see, this portion of the upper basket busted off. I've had it happen before, as you can see here, and made a repair. And I'm just going to end up doing the same thing. I didn't realize until I pulled the basket out, it wasn't just this one that broke. This back one snapped off as well. So I just went ahead and preemptively put the same sort of fix in place for that back one, that other back one. Like I said, it looks silly, but it's structurally sound and works. Unfortunately, I was not able to finish Castle Grayskull today like I wanted, but I did rebuild. So this is in sections it's you're looking at three sections here these first two i had fully built they fell broke I fixed those today i built this section then this and then this is the last section it goes on the end here and this is the one that's not complete so i should be able to get it done in a day or two it just it takes so long and i don't like i like the way this castle looks this is awesome but I don't like the Mega Blocks as much as Lego sets. They they just do not go together as well. You can kind of see like that's crooked there, and I don't know. I'll show more of this when it's completely finished because there's a lot of detail. Well, what do you think of my repair job of Castle Grayskull and the additional work that I got done on it? This thing is massive. Mm-hmm. I think it looks good. You got all the it little. Fixed pretty well. What's that? You fixed it up pretty good. Yeah, I know, but I got like an extra piece. But eh, that I doesn't matter. That was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I think I lost some. <laughs> I hope not. You should have did this for me. Are you gonna build mine? No, never mind. I don't want you to build mine. I want to build mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious what which of your billion sets you wanted built, but yeah. I'm making Jamaican jerk chicken for dinner. I'm not making it from scratch. I'm using a store bought marinade. It's this right here. I've only ever seen this at Publix in Walmart, but it's really good. I would suggest it if you can find it in your area. It is hot. 
quite a bit spicy. I've set aside a little bit because Lindsay doesn't like it, but it's a really strange <laughs> consistency. So someday I would like to make my own homemade jerk chicken marinade, but I can't find a scotch bonnet pepper anywhere around here locally. And if you do make this, I would suggest grilling the chicken. I'm gonna have to broil it because that grill caught on fire and it ruined it. <laughs> there was no salvage in it. The chicken turned out pretty good. It's got just an odd coloring from the marinade. I made a little bit of rice to go with it. Now the key to this is to not use too much of the marinade because it is pretty spicy. Maybe I didn't use enough marinade. Well, I think that's going to do it for me here tonight. I want to thank you for joining me today as I did my little home vlog, which I'm hoping is around five, six minutes. I guess we'll see when I actually go and put it all together. It's hard to tell when you're in the middle of filming it. My goal is to do one of these each week in addition to either a travel video or filming a small downtown. I might do two. We'll see. We'll see how it evolves. But I think for now, I'm going to get my pajamas on, go watch some TV, and then go to bed. So, thanks for watching.